So today's convengo is Alalake, and it's very interesting tune because it really helps you master the bass, the bass, so with your thumbs. And when you master the bass and you master the melody, you have a very, really good uh, foundation for your chora playing. So it's the same for Kurtu Kelefa, it's the same principle. So Alalake and Kurtu Kelefa are really interesting uh, when you are a learner to have a very, very solid foundation. So we're going to start with uh, the basic of the right hand. So it's F, C, F, A. So what, what I suggest you do is you just do that for a few loops. And then we're going to add up the left hand and we're going to do everything at the same time because if you want to learn it separately, it makes things actually more complicated. So let's start with the beginning. So you play F and C at the same time. C here and F here. Let's just do that. Okay, let's continue. And then I do F, F, left and right. Just practice this. So let's go from the top. Again. Let's loop this. We're going to go to A here and we're going to play D at the same time. So let's do this from the top. Let's loop this. again, so from the top, then F and C here, let's go from the top, again, at the same time. Let's do this. Again. almost back um, at the top, so we just played F and C, and then we go back to F, so 
but let's do, go from the top again and we are left with one note A and we're going to play it with D so from the top sorry I missed one note let's go back from the top And when we are ready, we can loop it. So let's go. So you get the you get uh, the whole thing what I suggest you do is you go really really slowly as I did step by step so if my loop here was a bit too uh, fast for you or you're just mixing everything just go back from the top and you do step by step so you start with this with the each note you add up each time a new layer a new layer a new layer a new layer and if you cannot loop it at the start just do everything from the top and you'll see at one point it will come naturally so the most important things in uh, learning the Chora or anything is just don't go too fast, don't go too slow, but just stay in the middle and don't burn the don't burn the the the, the stages of your learning. Just go slowly enough so that you can you can do it properly but not too slow so that you are a bit challenged so you stay in this um, in this zone so that was a lot I hope you enjoyed and um, see you next week for a new workout